Kim from Kim Dixon Creative and I'm here today with a project for Not Too Shabby. I'm using the Paper Pad of the Month and or, uh, the Paper Pad of the Month Club and the paper pad that I'm using from that is called Wing Beauties. And uh, both, both paper pads are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm also going to flash back to November 2022 and use a sheet load that was designed by our very own Alicia from Call Me Crafty Owl. And um, this is just one of the sheets of colored cardstock that you cut up. I've already cut my um, uh, pattern paper up uh, according to the designs. Um, and so I've got this all uh, ready to go. Now I'm gonna cut, you need um, this, particular sheet load makes nine cards and so you need nine two by two inch squares of white for your sentiment or your focal point. I'm going to use the uh, stamp set called Abstract Abstract Botanicals. I'll get it right in a minute. Um, which was also designed by our very own Call Me Crafty Owl. And so uh, I love the sentiments on that stamp set. They're so easy um, to use. They're so, uh, there's so many on there and, and the font is just beautiful. Um, this particular um, sentiment says, you've been on my mind. And I just need, that, that sentiment could actually be used for any occasion. Um, you could use it, you could actually use it for birthday because you write your, uh, you know, your birthday wish on the inside. And so um, what you see me doing here is putting together one of the card fronts. Um, so I pull out my T ruler to try to get things straight, but uh, you know, I just, I do just as well eyeballing it because the T ruler always moves on me. I don't know, whatever. So, um, but I get, uh, I you know, get all my pieces cut and I start putting everything together. And here is the little white um, sentiment piece that I'm doing there. And just look at that font. Isn't that beautiful? It is just so pretty. So, and there again, you see, I don't get things straight. This paper pad is so very pretty. I mean, I love the dragonflies, and you can see up in the top right corner of the screen, you see those um, dragonflies that are cut out there. That is from one sheet of the six by six paper pad, and um, it has some cutouts on it. So I just used my um, silhouette and my pick scan mat to cut out those little dragonflies and there are um, two little sentiments you'll see i use all end up using all of those on the insides of my card cards because i really um i decided to just put that sentiment on the front i really like that sentiment and um i think it i just i just think it's very pretty um, and i can always use these cards so um, here you see me putting one more together. Um, I'm not gonna show you, show me putting all nine together because A, that would make this video extremely long and who wants to listen to me drawing on and on for that long? So uh, we're, we're gonna cut this short. You've seen me put one or two together. You've seen me put them all together. But um, so, uh, I just wanted to make sure that you saw how they all went together. And um, I, I'm having glue issues tonight when I'm doing these cards. I don't know what my deal was, but I uh, couldn't get my art glitter glue to work. So I went with my other glue that I had there. And um, anyway, it's it's not art glitter glue, but, uh, but it, it gets the job done. So I'm gonna just glue that last piece there and uh, put my pattern paper on. And the great thing about these paper pads, the paper is double-sided. And, you know, if you don't like the one side, just flip it over and use the other and, you know, you get it mixed up, get the um, different patterns mixed up and, and have a nice little, um, you know, just a different, uh, um, 
assortment of papers that you can use just by using three sheets. And so um, I'm going through and I'm going to um, adhere these uh, little dragonflies and those two little sentiment ovals to the insides of my card cards. And so I'm just alternating, you know, as one on the right corner and one on the left corner, just, just giving it a little interest and leaving the rest of the inside of the card blank. Um, that way, when I do get ready to use the cards, I either have plenty of room to write what I want to write, or I can stamp another sentiment in there, um, you know, if I, if I decide to. Um, I do uh, like to send out cards to my team members at church and also to, um, you know, friends and family as well. So these will come in very handy. Um, especially coming up spring. Uh, spring, it's coming. It's really coming. I don't care what the groundhog said. It's coming. I know it is. I'm, I'm done with winter. I was done with winter the second day that it was cold. Um, and I know it doesn't even get cold here like it does for some of you guys. I know some of y'all have had lots and lots and lots of snow and you know, thankfully, right now, knock on wood, we've not had that this year. I really, I'm, I'm a tropical bird. I need the warm weather. So, anyway, it's, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm too delicate for the winter, I guess. Not really. Uh, delicate is not a word that's ever been used to describe me, but, uh, so I got all of those uh, glued on the inside and um, I'm gonna go back now and there's no dimension on my card. So guess what? We gotta put a little bling or something on there. And I love these little drops that look like water droplets. And so that I'm gonna put three on each, the front of each of my cards. Just kind of put them in a triangle pattern and I'm gonna use my glue and just put three little dots of glue and then grab my a little um, uh, Marvy jewel picker and pick up my little gem there and glue it on and I'm using a little vinyl pick tool to kind of help me with that because this particular glue that I'm using doesn't dry very quickly and uh, I nobody's got time to sit there and wait for that to dry so uh, I use that other little tool now the last step for me is to stamp my little um, created by Kim Dixon Creative on the back of all my cards. I like to do that. Um, you know, some some people I give cards to, they don't care. But then other people, you know, they it does matter to them that I made it. And I want to make sure that they know that I did make that. And um, even though I mass produce these, I, you know think about people when I'm actually making them. So anyway, here's a final look at all the cards. There were nine. They're all very much alike, but very they're all varied because I would use different papers in different positions and um, sometimes use the back. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. I hope what I've created inspires you to go out and create something as well. I want you to remember a couple of things. Our God is a creative God. He created all of the earth and all of the beautiful things in it, including his people. He created those people in his image. So if God is creative and we are created in his image, we too should be creative. I hope you go out today and make something, create something, think of something creative to do. It really is good for your soul. I also want you to remember that I love you and I'm so glad that you stopped by and I can't wait to see you again in the next video. Thanks for stopping by today. If you're not already a subscriber to my channel, I would be so honored if you would do so and hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Until then, here are a couple of my videos from the past that might inspire you. Thanks again. Bye.